dear students now let us solve 10th question of exercise 4.3 explain how this figure is a trapezium which of its two sides are parallel you have to look at the figure 4.32 that is first figure this one 4.32 now in 4.32 in figure 4.32 measure of angle m and measure of angle L is given. It is given that this is a trapezium. We have to explain how this is a trapezium. Now, measure of angle M plus measure of angle L is equal to 100 plus 80 is equal to 180. So, measure of angle M plus measure of angle L is equal to 180. Therefore, K L is parallel to N M. If sum of two adjacent angles in a quadrilateral is 180 degree then the lines are parallel. Here 100 plus 80 degree is equal to 180 degree. So, N m parallel to K l. Therefore, K l m n is a trapezium. Sum of two angles inside the parallel lines is 180 degree. Therefore, KLMN is a trapezium. Now, look at 11th one. Find measure of angle C in figure 4.33 if AB parallel to DC. Find measure of angle C. It is given that AB parallel to DC. Now, here AB parallel to DC, so sum of two adjacent angles in between the parallel lines. If AB parallel to DC, then angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree because AB parallel to DC. Now, we have to find measure of angle C. Here measure of angle B is given that is 120, measure of angle C we have to find. So, angle C is equal to 180 minus 120 that is angle C is equal to 60. Now, find 12th one, solve 12th one, find the measure of angle P and angle S. If SP parallel to RQ in figure 4.34. Find the measure of angle P that is you have to find the measure of this and S you have to find the measure of angle S. If SP parallel to RQ, SP parallel to RQ in figure 4.34. Now, angle R is 90 degree. This mark represents the angle is 90 degree. So, angle R is 90 degree. Here, SP is parallel to RQ. So, sum of two adjacent angles inside the parallel lines. That is, angle R plus angle S is equal to 180 degree. So, angle R is 90. 90 plus angle S is equal to 180 degree. So, angle S is equal to 180 minus 90. That is angle S is equal to 90 degree. After that, we have to find angle S. 
we found out the measure of angle S. Now, we have to find angle P. Angle P plus angle Q is equal to 180 degree because these are two adjacent angles. They are in between the parallel lines. Parallel lines are S P and R Q. Angle Q is 130. So, angle P plus 130 is equal to 180. Angle P is equal to 180 minus 130 that is angle P is equal to 50 degree. Therefore, angle P is 50 degree, angle S is 90 degree. If you find measure of angle R, is there one more than one method to find measure of angle P? To find measure of angle P, you can use the property angle sum property of quadrilateral. That is sum of angles of quadrilateral is 360 degree. By using that property also you can find the measure of angle P.